Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts, and today I'll be showing you how I made this Enderman 3D Proto Bead figure. A lot of people requested that I make this Enderman after seeing my Steve and the Creeper figures. So here is a full tutorial on how I made it. And remember, you don't need to use any glue for these projects. You just need some toothpicks to help attach them. But of course, you can always use glue if you want it to be completely secured together. So let's get started with making Enderman. Starting with the Enderman's head, this is the exact same design as the Steve and Creeper head, like it's the same shape for all the pieces, except Enderman of course is completely black with the purple eyes. Here is the pattern for the body, of course everything is completely black, so save up on all of those black beads. Now these are all of the pieces that are needed to make Enderman's arms and legs. So in this pegboard, you see uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces that will connect together to make one pair of arms or legs. So in total, you will need 16 of these pieces and 8 of these little plus sign pieces. If you want to make sure that these pieces turn out perfectly, I suggest doing them one at a time since these pieces are quite easy to mess up. The beads, if they're ever misplaced, it will ruin the entire thing because any one of these that are not in the right spot will cause the other one to not fit with it and then the puzzle will be ruined. So just to be safe, I suggest doing these all one by one. After you're done ironing, these are the pieces that you should have for the head. And once again, I do call these jigsaw projects because they will clip in perfectly together. And now you've assembled Enderman's head. These are all of the body pieces and now let's assemble the body. These are the pieces that can make one arm or one leg. Now get the little plus sign piece and put it on top to close up the leg. If you do this three more times, you will have four pieces like this, four limbs that will attach to Enderman's body. I just wanted to add that if these plus sign pieces don't fit in here perfectly or they just keep falling out, you can always get some parchment paper here, put it on your iron on a medium setting, and then you just press down onto it like this so that it can fuse together and make sure that the plus sign piece will stay onto the leg piece. You'll see that it's kind of misshapen, but it's okay because these aren't really noticeable and not that important as long as your figure stays together. Now that you have the arms, legs, head, and body assembled, you'll need some toothpicks. Sometimes after ironing, it's kind of hard to poke a toothpick through one of the holes here. So if you can look here, I already pre-poked it and widened it so that it would fit the toothpick. And then I just have to insert it in, get the head with a also pre-widened hole over here using that toothpick, and then stick it in. For the arms and legs, I'm using these toothpicks that are cut in half so that they will fit and not get stuck with each other once they're in the body. Just poke it in. All 
Alright guys, so that is how you make an Enderman 3D Protobead figure. As you can see, Enderman can stand on its own if you balance it right. And he stands quite tall, a lot taller than Steve, who is just at his shoulder. So that is my third 3D Minecraft figure that is made from pieces that will assemble together like a jigsaw puzzle. It requires no glue at all, just ironing and pearl beads. Oh, and by the way, I got an Instagram account. If you have a smartphone and have Instagram installed, then you can follow me at cutiecrafts where I will post a lot of pictures of projects that you won't see in videos until later. So you can get sneak peeks of pictures of my new projects. And also I have a Facebook page where I will post templates of this Enderman, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time with another cutie craft.